Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Tuesday, May 22nd, 2012. There's a lot to cover, so let's jump right into the charts. We'll start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures, which are trading higher this morning by about three and three-quarter points, right to around the 13, 19 and a quarter level. So decent little pop in the market to start the day, gaining a little bit more um, from yesterday's big rally. Uh, once again, traders should keep the U.S. dollar index on watch very, very closely. If that dollar starts to trade a little higher today, that could take the futures markets down. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index already, it is trading higher by 20 cents, although it has pulled off the highs pretty decently around 5.30 this morning. Uh, however, the last couple of, I would say the last 20 minutes, the market, the dollar has started to rally up a little bit, putting a little bit of pressure on the futures market so again if the dollar moves up the market ultimately should move lower uh, this will be more intact once the opening bell rings at 930 so all traders should watch for that and again as I always say every trade is a trade on the dollar regardless of what you're trading these days um, dollar goes down the market goes up dollar goes up the market goes down good thing for the market today is that the dollars up early and if once the opening bell rings the dollar falls mark stock markets in the um, regardless of around the world or where they are they will inflate higher on a weaker dollar so that's what we're dealing with here so keep a dollar chart up at all times uh, but right now futures are trading higher by a little more than three points and it's a good little start to the day but I'm not so sure <clears throat> the markets are going to be this easy again watch that dollar index and that'll tell you everything you need to know there was some news out of uh, Europe today um, there was some news this morning Looks like um, the IMF said that the Bank of England, um, which is not part of the Eurozone, um, as they don't they can print their own money, um, recommended that they should consider further monetary easing. Um, it's pretty amazing how, you know, more debt uh, bails out debt. It's pretty incredible. Uh, also, you have um, Spain had an auction this morning. I think it was short term uh, notes. And um, it looks like yields jumped a little bit, but the markets don't seem to be too worried about that at the moment uh, you do have the European markets all higher this morning and a lot of that is just simply carry over from yesterday when the European markets close at 1130 in the morning the US markets really didn't rally till later in the day um, and I think you're just getting a carryover effect of that but either way you do have Italy up uh, the MIB is up 2.65 percent the German DAX is up 1.2 percent CAC 40 is up 1.3 percent uh, the London FTSE is up 1.3% and Spain is up 1%. So, again, um, markets are higher this morning, but, um, you know, be prepared for a little bit of volatility. This this could always not be so easy. It does get a little volatile, um, especially around the time of 1130 or so when the European markets close. A couple of other things to talk about today. Um, oil and gold are both trading a little bit lower. You do have spot gold down about eight points or eight dollars to fifteen eighty eighty one per ounce. Also, it looks like crude, uh, light sweet crude, that is, down twenty four cents to ninety two thirty four. Let's take a look at the uh, GLD and then the USO. You'll see here GLD trading right around this one fifty three forty five level. So you don't want to make too much out of it, um, but it is about a dollar off yesterday's high. So again, um, gold is down a little bit to start the day this morning, and that's just basically because the dollar, the U.S. dollar index is higher. Let's take a look at the USO. USO, you'll see trading right here around the $35 level, closed at 35.15, so it's also a little bit lower, and that's basically because of the strength in the U.S. dollar index. When the U.S. dollar index is strong, you're going to get commodity prices to come down and be weaker, uh, most notably gold and oil first. Um, anytime the dollar is, is trading higher, uh, watch for weakness in gold, watch for the weakness um, in silver, also watch for weakness in oil, copper, things of that nature. Um, so right now we do have a stronger dollar. Um, we'll see if the dollar can hold up today. It's very oversold still, so it still probably needs to pull back a little bit. Um, that would bode well for the overall stock market indexes. They'll inflate as the dollar declines. But ultimately, um, if the dollar does rally, you know, that'll bring everything uh, everything down including um, gold and oil okay let's take a look at a few stocks that are in the news today we're gonna start off with Best Buy ticker symbol is BBY um, 
it started off pretty strong this morning, uh, moved up above 1950, now trading down to around 1842. I honestly don't see the reason to own Best Buy here. Um, if it takes out the recent low, which was 1753, Best Buy is going to become a $15 stock. So um, I don't really see the reason to own it. If the stock could rally up today, um, maybe get above the 19 level, then it has a chance to move up a little bit. But right now, uh, there's nothing to do on Best Buy. Um, and again, if it breaks below the low of 1753, most likely this stock is going to be a $15 stock at some point. So it just doesn't look good for Best Buy right now. I don't see um, the enthusiasm in the stock. And uh, right now, there's, there's really nothing to do there. Let's take a look at Dell Computer. I believe they reported earnings today. Stock is trading at 1510. Um, it still has a ton of resistance around 1550. Ultimately, the big resistance level on the daily chart is 1650. I, I, I just don't see it even getting there right now. So <clears throat> watch 1575 for intraday resistance. We'll give it a little uptick. Um, right now, it's at 1510. So uh, it's not a big mover these days. Dell Computer, kind of a lackluster uh, action here. I believe they did report earnings. I don't know what they are, but you could look into it. Let's take a look at this ALXN. This is um, a pharmaceutical. Uh, having a nice little day here, trading up around 91.80. Um, this is a decent gap. It may have resistance around $95. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the news is on this one. We'd have to check that out, but... Um, this is a decent little pop today, but again, I don't see this thing getting above um, $95, but nonetheless, this is a nice little move for this uh, Alexian Pharmaceuticals. Let me see what they did here. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what they did. Oh, okay, they're going to replace Motorola Mobility in the S&P 500. Okay, very good. So we know the deal there. All right, watch for resistance around 94.60, 94.75. Um, should be pretty good resistance there. Shouldn't get much higher than that. But nice little pop for this uh, ALXN, Alexian Pharmaceuticals. And again, they're uh, going to join the S&P 500, and Motorola Mil Mobility will come out, and they were purchased by Google. So um, watch this ALXN. Good resistance around the 94.75, $95 level. Um, watch for a pullback there. Uh, let's take a look at what else we have here. Uh, we're going to take a look at AutoZone, ticker symbol AZO. <clears throat> Stock right now is trading at 357. Um, closed yesterday at 368. I don't know the news here if it was earnings or not, so check it out. But uh, either way, I'm showing that um, AutoZone, you're going to have a little bit of support at 356. A little bit of support at 356. Maybe 356.30, and then it's all the way down to the 346 level. So watch AutoZone two spots, 356. That'll be short-term support uh, intraday, and then the next short-term intraday support would be 346 for AutoZone. Okay, both levels could see small bounces. Let's take a look at Ralph Lauren. This is another one with earnings today, trading uh, at 142 at the moment. Um, this stock. It could hold up here. It may not. It's hard. It's hard to say. Um, it is definitely oversold. But the one thing you want to watch for: watch the 134.75 level. If it gets down to 134.75, could be a quick bounce play there. But again, you're gonna have to gauge the overall market. Make sure that the market's holding up. But um, really, my best level for today right now would be 134.75, and then it's all the way down to 124.55. So watch those two areas for bounces. Uh, if it does get down there, Ralph Lauren, 134.75, then 124.55. Those are big, big spreads in between those support levels, um, basically 10 points. So, again, 134.75, I think, is a, is a decent area for a quick bounce. And then 124.55, right in that area. Okay? That's really all I'm seeing today. There's some other movers out there, but they're really not um, <clears throat> up or down very much. It, it's kind of quiet. Um, real quick, Facebook is down again today, this morning in the pre-market. Be careful now with Facebook because it does look like it's starting to near oversold territory. So you want to be a little bit careful with Facebook. Um, we take a look at the 60-minute chart. It's been down pretty much ever since it opened up. 
So, you know, just realize it, it probably goes down a little bit more, but it's starting to get to oversold conditions now. So somebody may come in here and support it soon, maybe around um, the $30 level. That would be probably a pretty good near-term support level, I think, um, for Facebook. But you never know. It, we just don't have a lot of data to work off of, so we've got to be a little bit careful there. So once again, um, as we have spoken or have been doing this uh, little recording, um, the futures have faded. They're only up three quarters of one uh, of a point. So, what can you say? The dollar is getting stronger. Dollar moves up. Market moves down. Now, what you want to watch for is if the dollar starts to rally further, you know, look for more pressure on this market. If the dollar fades. Look for the markets to move back up. Yesterday was a big do a big day for the market. Normally, the next day is a little bit more subdued, a little bit more calm. Um, a little bit uh, shall more shallow. You usually see a more shallow move. You don't see such a big, uh, robust move like you did get yesterday. So we'll see how this market trades. But again, watch that U.S. dollar index very, very closely. It will tell you everything you need to know. With that said, everybody, want to wish you all a great trading day. And we'll see you all on the charts tomorrow morning. Take care now.